All right, Freddie Camacho here at CrossFit One World for the Level One Trainer Cert going on this weekend. I'm here with Mike Minium from CrossFit Oakland. So, Mike, there is quite a buzz about the CrossFit Games this year. I'm thinking this year it's going to be a lot bigger than it was last year, much bigger. I mean, I, it's, I think it's going to sell out athletic-wise. So, do you have some folks that are headed to the CrossFit Games this absolutely, year? Absolutely, absolutely. We have uh, 10 on board already, uh, firmly committed, and probably, I won't say 10 more, but five on the fence that I think I can get to go and... Um, Maybe as many as 10. We'll see. But I, I know 10 for sure, and that's not counting myself. And this old man's going to jump in the ring, too. So Sweet, sweet, uh, sweet. And man, we've that's been pretty good. I don't know. Are they going to let people that are 50 in the game? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to you. I'm not talking to you. Listen to this guy. Fuck. <laughs> I know I've got the gray hair and everything, but uh, come on, Freddie. All right. So do you have anybody that's competing in the games this year that competed in the games last year? No, no, because unfortunately last year we were moving into our facility the weekend that the games was going on. So, right. so we didn't. Nobody had an opportunity. I said uh, we really wanted to do it, but it just the timing didn't work out. So, this year we're moving in full force. All right, sweet. And so you're gonna have ten newbies to the games. Exactly. And this year's actually. Oh wait, wait, wait. There are two. There are two guys who competed last year. They weren't in my gym, but now they're full-time members at the time. Oh, and you, you guys will know them. You uh, got, uh, uh, Connor Banks, the uh, guy who won the CrossFit. Um, Total last right, year, right. and then his brother Brandon, he, right. he was there as well. Yeah, they were beasts. They were yeah. awesome. So how much did you pay them to come to your gym? <laughs> no, no, they paid me, man. They paid I think me. you're lying. I think no. there's going to be a full-on investigation. I didn't, even, I didn't even ask them to be <laughs> to say that they were CrossFit Oakland, and they said, oh, we want to compete for CrossFit Oakland. No. All right, all right. So you're, in other words, you're saying they don't even train there. You're just No, them. no, no. They come, they come a ton. Brandon's all right. always training. So you got two guys who did the games last year. Sounds probably. to me like you're kind of coming up with excuses already, Freddie. I yeah. don't know, man. Totally. So you got two guys that um, competed in the games this year. So they have a little experience with the games, but everybody else is pretty new. Brand new. Yeah, it'll be a new experience. Um, Absolutely. What are you guys doing to get ready for the games this year? Are you like changing workouts at the school? Uh, we, or? We're not modifying workouts because we think that just the CrossFit workout that's posted is probably going to be the best preparation. So what we're doing is uh, it actually started back in March. We did a month-long CrossFit competition following the three-on-one-off national site thing. Five points for first, four points for second, three points for, for third, two if you did it as RX, one point if you just did the workout. And then we kept track of that throughout the month, and the, the man and the woman with the most, uh, most uh, points uh, took home a little cash prize. Everyone put $20 into the kitty, and I think they ended up with whatever. The money doesn't really matter, but about $300 a, a person or something well, like that. Well, that. that sounds actually pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, so. And, and that, was, that was in March. People were really, I won't lie, it was a real tough experience last five five workouts or so everyone was just beat no one had ever put it on the line for that long for that many days in a row right. and uh so the the first couple of weeks of april were brutal but now i'm starting to see some real gains people are pr and it's sort of like that process it was planting of the seeds and now it's starting to bear fruit okay. and uh and in addition as you well know next next saturday uh, we're having all the Bay Area affiliates in at our gym, and we're going to come up with a little hopper style workout. Right. So what's and, it going to be? No, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're going to have. We're, we won't know. There's going to be a gymnastics move, a weightlifting move, and then a Metcon component. So it's going to be a classic mixed modal workout. But those are. That's the only thing we know at this point. Okay. All right. And you guys going to be using a peanut roaster hopper? Exactly. Also, exactly. Like well, we're going to have buckets. We're not. We're, we're not quite that that sophisticated. We're going to have buckets. But uh, right. uh, that's how it's going to work. And then there's talk. There's some some of my guys and gals want to do one more throw down thing. It's certainly not going to be for another month. I would say maybe right. just two cycles, so six workouts, and we'll come up with another point scenario for that. Uh, they're, they're really psyched. They, 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 want to, they want to be raring to go. That's good. That's good. Have you guys, um, so like last year, you know, they had the trail running thing. Yeah, okay, yeah. So I'm guessing myself just that since that hill is there, yes. and it's at the same site, that likely the trail run is going to be in the game. I don't know for sure. Yeah. I don't really know what's going to be in the games this year, but. Uh -huh. Have you guys done any preparation for trail running? We haven't really done any prep. We've done a few long runs, but no, no trail preparation. Right, yeah, right. although the, the two guys who are there have been telling me about it, so we might throw something into the mix. We have uh, this area in, in Berkeley that isn't too far from Oakland. It's called Marin. It's like a, a mile straight uphill. And uh, a few of our, 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 our clients, our athletes, have gone up there just independently on their own, but we haven't done anything organized yet. So we'll probably, we'll probably do a little bit of that. Yeah, I think that, that trail run was an eye-opener for a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I heard lots of horror stories about that. And so, it's also really hot, too. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was hot. It wasn't completely terribly hot like it was this week, but it was mm -hmm. hot. Do you guys have any 
potential fire breathers. Some guys. That <laughs> well, I don't want to put up. any pre pressure, but uh, I, I think we have. Uh, I won't go too far out in the line. We have. Uh, they'll kill me because because they're shooting for the top. But uh, I would say we have one at least one male and one female with solid top ten uh, potential. I, I don't want to say anything more than that because I don't want to put pressure on them. I'm not going to name their, name their names. But yeah, we have uh, we have a few that are, are pretty darn impressive. That's good. Good combination of like. Uh, Sub 20, just throw out a, a, a sub 20 5K, and then uh, uh, nearly 400 um, pound deadlift, three, three, 385 deadlift. It's a nice little combination. Those are just a couple of the numbers. We have a few people with sub three. I know you got your sub three, Fran. Uh, we have two people with that, and two others knocking on the door. Our best female, uh, we have a, a female who can bench press body weight and who can do a, a, a Fran or last Fran was at 323. So she's pretty decent too. Wow. Man, what are you like? Are you guys, you guys are near Balco. Out there. <laughs> that's How right. That that's right. Exactly. And you, uh, <laughs> okay. No, we have some. We have some solid people that are really committed to it, and they're seeing the results. It's just it's CrossFit. You know how it works. Right. I mean, people get invested in the program. They see results. They want more, and it's uh, it, it, it'll be a fun time. It'll also be an eye opener because there are some phenomenal athletes. I've been trying to tell them that you guys aren't like the very best on the planet. There, there, there's OPT, all these guys that they've seen, and then they'll get to go head to head. They're psyched on that. Um, I, I don't know. It's going to be a blast. Yeah, I, 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 what I'm really looking forward to, and it's cool that you mentioned you got some really good fire breathers, that I think this year there's going to be a lot of people we never heard of. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping, one, mark on the I'm hoping one of them will be our, our, right. our, from our crew. But yeah. yeah. Mention you got 10, maybe five on the bubble, and this goes for you and for all you people out there. They are going to cap the games this year. This is going to be a big event. They're going to cap the amount of athletes that are in. So you okay. want to get your people, start pitching them, get them signed up, start taking them under your wing, take them on a computer, get their credit card number or whatever, and get them signed up, everybody. Okay. All right? That's a good advice. And then you guys will be visiting the CrossFit One World RV this year? Of course. Yes. <laughs> when are you guys going down? I heard you're going down early. Uh, well, no, I'll probably get down there the day of. The so, day of? Yeah. All right, I got to nice. work the night before, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, no, that's, no, that's no challenge for you, right? You just pop a bunch of uh, rock, stars. rock stars and that's coffee. Right. I'm ready to go. That's right. <laughs>